<coughs> right, hi. I'm starting to imagine things more. Imagine. Because that is the key. I'm starting to understand more of the truth. And some of the things I've said in the past few videos, there's going to be errors in them. Uh, especially the last two videos, they are really poor quality, weren't they? I don't dig reading and making videos, it just doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> so, but no, I'm starting to sort of now really feel things, and the reason that's, that is, is I'll just read this. I am my soul. So I'm starting to get that comprehension now that this body is not me. Okay? I'm starting to really feel that, that me is not this body. Alright, it's hard, you know, you can't do these things with words, so I'm just but I'm just making these anyway. I am my soul, always travelling and amid greater and brighter, smaller and dimmer, and of course inside the great one who gives me counsel, protects and nurtures me, guides me and loves me. And I love them and all, for it is all love. <laughs> what am I going to do if I'm not going to smoke or enter some other addiction? Feel love, respond with love. Really, feel your soul, feel what your soul is telling you at that point. Ah, uh, I don't really want to read this, but I'm gonna. God's soul is like the burning sun and all our souls are small like us. <laughs> we all together huddle on the earth, distant. Yet there are those brighter souls in constant connection with God, learning and growing in love. I mean, that's not true, right? God is right here. Father, Mother right here, all around us, everywhere. Close your eyes, I'll come on to that bit. I felt my granddad, Christopher, feel love, respond with love. That's the first lesson in love. Feel love, respond with love. Feel the love, respond with love. Feeling his love was wonderful and happy and funny. This is my granddad Christopher. He left me with the thought, imagine how the full force of God's love will feel. Yes. <clears throat> One of God's games, when you're your soul, is you can imagine whatever you want God to be. Both of them, mother and father. When children are playing so contentedly, they're playing with God. Huh? Your imagination is God. I'm going to say that again. Your imagination is God. I'm going to say that again. Your imagination is God. And what you need. What comes up. If scary faces come up. You need to feel some fear. Because you've got some untruths. First of all, get the truths. Right? Before you do any of this work. Get the truths. Or if you don't know the truths and don't know where to get them. AJ Miller, Divine Truth Channel. It's got the secrets of the universe there for you. If you don't know them, then don't have any truths. In my imagination I have Mother God right, Father left. In front of me is the face of my soulmate. Not clear yet. And then I just had this like, ah, <laughs> oh, major realisation. Uh, so, yeah. Some of the errors, maybe, I've got to sit with it a bit longer. So I just drew a picture of my soul. But it's like, you know, 
we're all in God, we're all unique souls, half souls with our soulmate. So here's you and your soulmate, and if, you know, as you get close to God, you'll get rid of more of your sort of body and face, and you'd be like one soul. But that's a heck of a long way away. It's a heck of a lot of learning to do before them. And you got God right there all the time.
associated dragon